welcome to the daily calendar session of uh, 30th April 2018 today uh, brought to you by new is this is uh, a few missions few few topics of science and technology and some first of its kind news so uh, let's have a look at peace mission first of its kind Saraswati Samman nifty equity savings index here also we will some learn some first of its kind virtual bronchoscopy navigation system here also first of its kind and uh, Shirui Lilly of Manipur so let's have a look at the detail peace mission now uh, this is news this is a very good uh, you know gesture between india and pakistan actually a good friendly relation uh, arch rivals india and pakistan are uh, going to be a part of a military exercise uh, in uh, ural mountains in russia that name of that military exercise is called peace mission later china and other countries also will be joining because it is under the framework of shanghai cooperation organization sco we know about shanghai cooperation right uh, we have discussed a lot of times the aim is to always the main aim of shanghai cooperation is mainly is counter terrorism in those areas because areas above afghanistan and pakistan are the main those are the member countries of shanghai cooperation and uh, the latest members are india and pakistan so the main motto of them or uh, that organization is counter terrorism or to uh, you know eradicate terrorism or ter terrorism uh, funding states and economic uh, organizations so uh, peace mission india and pakistan will be conducting and this is the first of its kind after the independence we haven't conducted any bilateral friendly military exercises with pakistan we have been seeing many military uh, multilateral exercises uh, prabal dew stick is there we have a simbex os index is there mitra shakti is there uh, you know the malabar exercise is there so like that none of them had pakistan as a member but this is the first time after the independence uh, though we have we had this uh, you know our armies were together in the un peacekeeping missions but that is different that is mission that is under the un uh, we had supplied armies pakistan had also supplied armies like that uh, they had worked together but this is for the first time that we are having a bilateral exercise or a multilateral military exercise so peace mission is the name and the the, the parent organization is shanghai cooperation organization and china will also be participating and this is happening in Russia this year September uh, Ural mountains of Russia that is the news that's all and uh, yes the next one is Saraswati Samman now Saraswati Samman to be a matter of fact this is the highest or the largest award given to a literary person in India highest in the sense the monetary the price that is given 15 lakh rupees for the for the winner of the a, a, a annual writer whoever has done a prominent work in the literature field will be getting this 15 lakh and this is being uh, given by KK Birla Foundation since 1991, uh, the same uh, organization KK Birla Foundation gives the Vyas Samman that is for the particularly for Hindi language literature. So let's have a look eminent Gujarati poet Sitanshu Yashas Chandra's poet, poetry collection Vakhar gets the Saraswati Samman 2017. Last year it was a Konkani writer Mahabaleshwar Sale who got this award in 2016. This is the award for 2017. This is given for um, you know every year for Indian citizens and any work, uh, any literary work in any languages that have been mentioned in Schedule 8 of the Indian Constitution. That is where we make mistake. See many awards are there, many awards are, uh, you know, English is also included. Many, there are many languages which include uh, only the Scheduled 8 languages. There are many awards which include all the Indian languages but not foreign languages, etc. So, Samma is a particular one which only considers the languages of Schedule 8 of the Constitution of India and uh, that means it includes hindi also but no english is there so uh, the cash price is 15 lakh uh, a citation is there and a plaque of goddess saraswati because this uh, this saraswati samman is given in respect to uh, the goddess of uh, you know the goddess of words saraswati and uh, this is the highest recognition in the field of indian literature in the country the uh, highest amount that is what we are giving and uh, by kk birla foundation the same group who give Vyas Samman for Hindi writers. So remember the name uh, Siddhanshu Yashas Chandra and Vakhar. Vak maybe the poetry collection will be asked whose work it is. Maybe who is the winner he will be asked. Uh, sometimes statement will come this is the largest, this is the highest denomination. This is by KK Birla Foundation or the name may change to some other one like Lalitha Kala Academy, Sahitya, Sangeet Natak Academy, etc. So have a thorough knowledge. Next one is about Nifty Equity Savings Index. Now we have uh, many stock exchanges in india bombay stock exchange national stock exchange we have commodity exchange also mcx is there so like that national 
uh, stock exchange that is the India's largest by equity that is what they say. Uh, India's largest and world world's fourth largest uh, you know stock exchange by by the equity volume. So uh, that is that is national so stock exchange they started functioning in 1990s and uh, they have a subsidiary subsidiary uh, organization or a, or a PSU called India Index Services and Products Limited. It's a, it's an actually an enterprise under the aegis of NSE National Stock Exchange and they have introduced uh, a new index called Nifty equity saving nifty equity savings index so nifty is the trademark index of equity index of nse we have sensex that is a equity index of bombay stock exchange same way iisl india index service and products limited have this nifty equity savings index so the name is related to iisl or if iisl is not there in the uh, options then it is related to nse so that is what we need uh, to answer uh, see we know about stock exchanges that is an economic topic. We know what kind of products or what kind of companies are listed in uh, each of the uh, you know uh, the stock exchanges. Even either it be Bombay Stock Exchange, BSC or NSE, there will be some prominent uh, industries or companies that will be listed that will be performing every time. Uh, so all those top charted uh, companies have their share values together average that is called index of that uh, uh, national stock exchange or whatever the stock exchange it is. So any stock exchange it will have a high rated companies always faring well, always having a steady uh, you know stock prices without any volatility. So that kind of uh, their average value is taken and considered as Sensex or Nifty or whatever it is. See I Comodex, I, I smaller to I Comodex is the index of uh, this uh, NCX. Uh, commodity exchange, multi commodity exchange. So, so we we if it is good to have uh, list some points of uh, various stock exchanges in India, including the commodity exchange. Learn the difference between commodity exchange and stock exchange. That kind of things very interesting to do. So, uh, see uh, the base date they take is 2005. Don't mark 2011-12. That is for WPA. Uh, 2005 April 1 and the base value taken is 100 rupees, 1000 rupees. So that is all about this one and let us have a few, few facts about NSE, National Stock Exchange. This is the leading stock exchange in India and uh, the fourth largest in the world as per uh, World Federation of Exchanges. So World Federation of Exchanges have charted or ranked uh, this NSE f as fourth largest in the world by the volume of equity they, they, they broker. So uh, started in 1994 and ranked as the largest stock exchange in India again. Uh, as per the volume of equity. So by the volume of equity, they, they, they trade, uh, NSC is the largest in India, not Bombay exchange. But Bombay exchange, next slide, Bombay exchange uh, is the oldest one in India. It, it was formed in 1875 during the British era and this is Asia's first and world's fastest stock exchange. So that is a fact, Asia's first and world's fastest, 0.6 microsecond is the time they they update their self. So that is the system, fastest stock, stock exchange of the world. Now India INX, see this is a fact, there is a gift city in Ahmedabad which is an international finance service center. So gift city, international finance service center, there at that place, that point, we have India INX as India's first international trading center. So India INX, India's first international exchange located at gift city IFSC in Ahmedabad. It's a fully owned subsidiary of Bombay Stock Exchange and not National Stock Exchange. So these kind of facts you need to know because this will help you in uh, solving many questions and uh, their equity index is called S&P VSE Sensex and for uh, NSE it is Nifty. So uh, Nifty, S&P VSE Sensex, India INX which is at Gift City, India's first international, uh, uh, international trading uh, exchange and BSC is the oldest but NSE is the largest. So this kind of differentiations you need to know. Next is about one then scheme. One then scheme is something related to Ministry of uh, Tribal Affairs and TriFed. Now TriFed we have seen already. It's a you know confederation of tribal products just like we have cooperative societies same way. TriFed is something which is exclusively for the tribal products. So one then scheme is similar thing uh, which uh, the main aim, the ultimate aim is to increase the tribal income. So what will happen? 10 self-help groups of 30 tribal uh, people will be gatherers, gatherers who go, goes to forest and collect the produce. So like that 
10 self help group will be pro, uh, you know established in a, in a particular area and what they will be given they will be given training they will be given initial amount etc they will be given uh, skill and capacity building to make to add value to the produce they get from the forest for example honey is the produce they collect from the uh, forest so they will be given many training and uh, many skills and job oriented skills manufacturing te uh, techniques will be given they will be given initial fund also to what to make this honey collected from the forest add value to that and make them market competitive so they can sell their own produce as a different brand under this trifid so that is what the whole concept is about you now read the uh, points aim to increase tribal income 10 self help groups SHGs of 30 tribal gatherers are con constituted they are trained and provided with working capital initial some fund will be given to add value to the products they bring from the jungle they can make then market the, they can then market the products in interstate as well as intrastate I mean among in, inside the state as well as outside the state they can trade it and the training and technical support will be provided by Trifed not NABAD always statement will come NABAD is implementing agency here no NABAD is there it is proposed to develop 30,000 such centers of uh, you know gatherers tribal gatherers and that kind of centers where uh, skill upgradation and capacity building is given that kind of center is called one then Vigas Kendra so just like Pradhan Mandri Kaushal Vigas Kendra we have one then Vigas Kendra so all these things are interrelated you need to know so trifid uh, this uh, aim of this product one then scheme and one then Vigas Kendra are the takeaways from this next one is virtual bronchoscopy navigation system it is a venture this is the first again this is the first of its kind uh, Ames, all in the Institute of Medical Science, Delhi, have set up a virtual bronchoscopy navigation (VBN) for the first time in our country. Now, what is it? Simply, I'll just explain it. It's nothing but uh, our, our our lungs. From the windpipe, we have this bronch bronchus, and it will be bifurcated into two, and it will enter the lungs where we have bronchioles and etc. So, so any any lung problem or any lung issues inside the lung we need to puncture the lung and open it for to make a surgery or something like that so we need to open it cut open it to examine what is the problem so to avoid such complications so these kind of things will lead to complications it's not like stomach stomach is easy to operate but lungs is not so uh, to to remove to eradicate such kind of complications we have virtual bronchoscopy navigation now what they will do they will scan the patient's entire body i mean the upper part and a 3d virtual image is created now the CT scan, the computer topography, tomography scan, CT scan is used to make slice by slice image of a, of a 3D object and a 3D image will be you know uh, forecasted in, into a screen. So that is what CT scan does. So first the patient's body will be scanned by CT scan and a 3D image will be then uh, made in which the path of this bronchus bronco will be you know we will get that kind of a map and using that map or using that image we can insert the probe with the camera you know we have this endoscopy similar way we have the bronchoscopy so uh, any scopy means inserting something a probe a camera and a light they will insert the tube and they can see the visuals of inside the stomach so if it is stomach it is endoscopy if it is lungs it is bronchoscopy that's all so here uh, here similar thing happen see we can get such kind of an image where they will insert this and we can see various parts of lungs without puncturing the lungs without doing any complication we can see where are the problem issues now read it in the news because aims has set up virtual bronchoscopy navigation yes it is first of its kind in the country and the bronchoscope is guided on the bronchial route that is where from windpipe to the lungs using ct scan a 3d image view of the windpipe is generated which helps to pass the bronchoscope bronchoscope is a probe it's a tube with a camera at the end and a light so that you know, we can view entire image and uh, uh, to reach the abnormal areas and it helps to navigate bronchoscope without puncturing the lens that's all next one is about shirui lily shirui lily is in uh, is a festival uh, taking place recently in manipur and uh, see this is a particular kind of flower which is uh, endemic to manipur we can say like that because this if planted to anywhere else any any other part of the world it won't grow this this won't flower this won't flower if it is planted in any other part of the world so we can't say it is endemic to the place but we can say that it is a rare species which cannot be grown anywhere else which cannot be grown to flower anywhere else so uh, manipur's much awaited five day shirui lily Fest, state festival commenced in the ukrul ukrul is a district 
where we have this flower and this hill ranges is Shirui hill ranges. The name got the, the, the hills, hill ranges got the name after this flower, Shirui hill ranges. So it, it is on 28th April, yeah, it already started actually. It is a rare Indian species of plant found only in the upper reaches of Shirui hill ranges. The flower never grows in the other parts of the world except in Shirui peaks. That is why it is called a rare species. Now it has certain med medicinal values also, the flower can be used in treatment of different issues, skin problems, stomach problems, etc. And this has been declared as the state flower of Manipur in 1989. So that is all the facts about Shirui lily. Uh, these kind of news, it is time for you to compile these kind of, you know, exceptional festivals held. Like we have the Flamingo festival, we have the Hornbill festival, we have the uh, Pelican festival, etc. So every month, every week or maybe randomly we get this kind of festival. So it is time that you compile all these uh, festivals of entire year. Compile the, you know, different, different uh, sections you can compile. So uh, I hope you will do good and uh, now I am winding up. Thanks uh, for watching and uh, have a nice day.